Then moving on to the adults, obviously in terms of motivation, with an adult class, they don't always have to be there. They've often made the choice to be there, although this is not always the case. And secondly, quite often this decision to actually be there is an economic one. In other words, by learning English, they can greatly increase the income that they can produce. More often than not, obviously, they will bring a lot of experience to the classroom and they'll probably have had quite a lot of language learning experience. In terms of their behaviour, because of their previous experiences, they will either have had positive or negative previous experience. In other words, they may have certain behaviours that they're expecting to occur in these particular classes. And secondly, because they have been through lots of language learning before, they will come with certain fixed expectations. One final consideration for the categorisation of your language learners is actually their language level. So what language level are the students at? Assuming that your class is not a mixed ability class, and more about that later, then your students will have had some form of level test to put them into one type of category. And typically, there are five different levels of grouping. Some common names that are given to these particular levels Level 1, the most basic level, is called the starter group. Moving on from that, elementary, the next level beyond that, level 3, the pre-intermediates, and then on to 4, the intermediates, and the top level, the upper intermediates. What we can put here is some general characteristics of those learners. Within the starter level, there are actually two categories, and whether they be true starters, where they have no experience at all, if you can think of a language that you have absolutely no experience in and can't say a single word of, then you are a starter in that particular class. There's another category within this one, though, which we call the false beginner. And the false beginner has actually had some exposure to the language, be it through TV, radio, perhaps they've met tourists in a particular destination, or so on and so forth, or, indeed, perhaps they've been taught this language a long time ago and have not used it for a long time, but they're still in the starter level. The next level up in the elementary, they will have a basic knowledge of things like subjects and verbs and a fairly limited vocabulary that will allow them to talk about a limited range of subjects. Moving on to the next level at the pre-intermediate, they should be able to discuss a number of topics but within those discussions, they will still make some basic errors in both language and vocabulary. Moving on to the level four or the intermediate students, they should be able to discuss a large range of topics, but there will still be some issues in terms of both their fluency and their accuracy. And finally, into the upper intermediate, they should be able to discuss virtually anything that you can come up with, and they should have uh, a fair deal of fluency, although there still will be some problems with accuracy.